So apparently on this Tuesday morning, the weather decided to be, you know, very cloudy. So you can actually see my face a lot better than yesterday. Um, I mean, yeah, sometimes clouds can be a bit of a bummer, but actually more often than not, I find myself kind of liking the fact it's been cloudy, De depending on like, you know, the, the type of day it is. Like today, I don't mind it. I mean, it's still summer. It actually, um, no king though. I like, you know what? I actually kind of had a nightmare last night where, um, I swear I thought it snowed. That would be truly awful, but we're not, we're not going to get that here. Of course not. It's going to be like, it's going to be like in the eighties all week. Why would, why would it snow? That'd be very freaky. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people would really, a lot of people would believe that 2020 would be the worst year in human history, which yeah, I know 2020 really has been kind of sour if you want to put it that way, but I'm not going to, it's not going to be, I wouldn't say it's that, but I mean, we still have an entire, another half of a year, which, yeah, I'll be doing my, um, arc thoughts probably tonight after, I'm going to try and do it before AGT, but I'm going to, or if not, I'll do it like immediately after. Because I said I do it at the end of every month, and today is the technical end of the month of June. Yeah, that's actually one, um, seriously, for all the stuff we've been complaining about in terms of our 2020 spend, I think the one thing, I don't think anyone's really noticed is that it's been going by pretty quickly. Like, really quickly. I guess they've all been so, um fixated on how things have been that we've barely know as time go by. I mean, we're already in summer. We're already at the end of June. Making it the last Tuesday of June. So, yeah. Happy Tuesday, everybody. So you can't Tuesday without having Monday happen first, and Monday was eh, pretty okay. I mean, actually, since it, really, it was actually quite delightful because... You know, I got to see my uh, aunt, my uncle, my godparents from the state of Colorado. Um, got to hang with them for a little bit. We had a quote unquote. Here's the thing. My family on my mother's side likes to have, when we're all together, we have what's called, you know, happy hour, which honestly, the only one who was even drinking at all was my uncle. You know, I had a couple of beers, but you know, other than that, you know, there's like some hors d'oeuvres and Again, obviously drinks, and we had uh, actually one particular amount of food that uh, also counts as our derb. And you know what? If I'm able to find the opportunity, I actually you know what? No, that's also one of the ones I'm serving. Sure. Never mind. But that's definitely a mom food I want to talk about one day. Um, but yeah. For uh, dinner, we had... Now, I mentioned that for dinner, we're having a mom food that I was saving as, like, the penultimate one. Well, here's the thing. It's not the food itself, but an item involving the food itself. That's, like, the mom food... that The penultimate mom food I want to talk about. So, with that out of the way, with that explanation, I can tell you that for dinner last night, we had uh, green beans salt potatoes and pork chops but again it's it's like the kind of pork chops we have is the um is is the mom food but again i'll be explained if and when i ever get to it i mean i want to build up suspense to it i mean here's the thing i thought about doing like all the entirety of the mom food chronicles before day 1000 but honestly i'd rather stretch out for like a little while that would be It'd be far too soon to just do it all in one setting. Especially when there's still a lot I haven't really even done yet. I mean, I've talked about, you know, I mean, I definitely talked about a few of the core ones that I really want to talk about. You know, my mother's broccoli and Swiss cheese soup. Um, you know, tacos and cornbread, which, hey, today is Tuesday. Tacos and cornbread actually wouldn't be a bad thing to have. Although... 
one thing I didn't mention when I did the tacos and cornbread video is that um, it's not like southern style cornbread like cast iron. Although, actually, it's thanks to me my mom got herself a cast iron. Because, uh, like, years ago, like, when food videos really started to be popular on the internet, like, Tasty was doing, like, these short, like, tutorials on, like, Facebook. And I showed my mom this, um, bacon jalapeno cheese dip, which was awesome. And you need a cast iron to make that. So, yeah, that's why my mom got herself a cast iron uh, pan. And she still has it. Although that does remind me, I probably should be getting one myself. Maybe, maybe some other time. But, yeah, maybe, but yeah, I definitely gotta, you know, think about doing that. Anyway, um, in terms of uh, what's going on today, yeah, nothing really. You know, it's just like my aunt and my uncle from Colorado up right now, so... They're essentially going to be on their own. Um, yeah, there's, there's that. Uh, oh, right, I forgot. Um, uh, for uh, dessert last night, um, we had uh, we had uh, brownies. You know, we talked for a little bit, and it was it was a, it was a wonderful evening. Our mom made up brownies, which. That is a mom food I definitely need to talk about as well. Because for a certain someone I know, uh, it involves a recipe that technically doesn't exist anymore. But I'll explain when, um, when I, uh, when I think about it. Anyway. Um, so... Honestly, in terms of what we talked about last night, you know, it's plans for this upcoming weekend. Because originally, Saturday was going to be filled with, like, cleaning out my grandfather's old garage. But apparently that's not happening anymore. So, yeah. Saturday, we're going to be, um, we're going to be able to do what we want. Which, had I known that at the time, I would have thought, wait. We could, because here's the thing. During my family stay here, we're going to be visiting my grandfather's, you know, grave site. And the plan is on Sunday, we're going to be going to church. And then we're going to, uh, you know, Bath Memorial, Bath Veterans Memorial Cemetery, where, you know, my grandfather is, you know, is buried, sadly. I... I say sadly, I mean, yeah, sadly he's gone, but, I mean, I'm not, I don't know why I said sadly there. I mean, yeah, I'm sad he's gone, but, you know, I've said before I could have been sadder. Anyway, um, well, but I'm thinking, wait, church is going to be like at 11 o'clock. If we visit my grandfather's gravesite, you know, it's going to be like 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon by the time everything's over. We're up in Cuco Lake, essentially, though. Why don't we just do it all on Saturday? Like, go very early on Saturday and go to church at 5 on Saturday and, you know, get over with so you have all day Sunday to party and relax. That'd be a great thing to do. Or my family's not going to... They may actually buy that. I don't know. I have to, I have to play it by ear. Um... Actually, a couple of them watch it. It wouldn't be, wouldn't be a bad idea. Here's the thing, though. Because, well, you know, it's been a couple of weeks. I, I know my mom told me not to mention this. But I guess I can mention here. And that's, um, I actually finally went back to church for the first time in months. I'm not going to say when. I'm not going to say where. All you need to know is that I have been able to go again. And man, did I realize I both missed it and didn't miss it at the same time. Because it really is nice. Because on the one hand, it's absolutely great being back in that routine. You know, going on Saturday evening and then going out to dinner, you know, afterwards. That's great. But looking back, there are some things about Mass that I really couldn't deal without. Because 
sometimes when a priest does a homily, I mean, it hasn't happened yet, thank goodness. But there are some homilies I've heard where you think it's over. I'm like, okay, it's over. You move on. Oh, no, wait, he's, he's still going. And not, now it's over. No, no, he's, he's still going. Like, and please. Well, I wouldn't actually yell out loud, but seriously, it's, it's happened before. Not to the point where it's been like, it hasn't happened since I've been back, though, thank goodness. But here's the thing. If you want to go to, um, if you want to go to church, you actually have to get, like, tickets and, like, reserve being able to go because, you know, all churches are not having, um, you know, full-on occupancy yet, which, you know, is understandable. We're not really going to get any, any of that until, you know, down the line, which I'm not okay with. It's cool. I'm not really worried about it, um, you know, one way or the other. Uh... Other than that, I still don't really know what my plan is yet because I said this yesterday, Wednesday is when they have all you can eat crab legs about the waterfront and the sweats. I could actually go, but I have to be in corny all day Thursday, don't have to worry about the commute. It's difficult for me to decide. But, you know, I can, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm flexible, but it's just something to really want to, it's something I want to think about, you know what I mean? Because... No matter what, of course I want to go to Hugo Lake as soon as possible. But if I have priorities to take care of the next day, I got to do that too. And I'm not really going to be feel, not going to fully be able to enjoy everything knowing I have to do stuff. Which, you know, it is, it, it's fine. I'll do whatever I have to do. But I mean, tonight, tonight I can just, you know, super relax. You know, I actually, uh, after I saw my family, I got myself a couple groceries for a uh, dinner night, which, um, by the way, shout out to a very special friend of mine who works at Peas Macarons, who is actually the owner of B Sweets. I actually ran to her, you know, getting groceries last night. It was awesome talking to you again. So it was nice seeing you again. It was very nice. Um, yeah, that was, seriously, I am like, I was walking down like the aisle, looking for stuff to, like, hmm, why do I get like, boom, there she is. It was, it was really cool. Um, yeah. I mean, and you think it'd be difficult because, you know, you gotta wear masks whenever you go, like, grocery shopping, but no. But then again, full disclosure, I've actually known this person for many, many years. Like, since, like, seventh grade. So, I recognize her like, like that, essentially. So, not like... Well, like, actually, seven, seven degrees we got, like, like, 17 years ago. Oh, my gosh, we're so old. <laughs> uh, remember, kids, it's not how old you are. It's how you are being old. Believe me, yes, I know I'm 30, but, you know, it's not changing my personality. It's not stopping me from doing this every day, which I'm glad I do. And... You know, yesterday I didn't even realize yesterday was 9-11, day 9-11. See, I didn't even make, I mean, to be fair, I also know when to never use a joke, even if you could make it funny and say anything about the fact that yesterday was day 9-11 was uh, definitely something I'm glad I didn't do. And no, I didn't make a joke just there, I'm just explaining something. That's different. See, it's, so you can use, see, that's actually one, because, if you're trying to explain why something's bad, it's okay to describe why in a way that, you know, is necessary. Within reason, of course. So, yeah, I made mean, this. So, yeah. Um, I have no idea what I just said right there. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely um, our Tuesday. Other than that, you know, I actually have uh, my mise en place ready for dinner uh, when I arrive back home this evening and then I'll be ready to uh, prepare watching America's Got Talent. So it should be fun and then I'll be doing um, my arc thoughts at some point today on uh, actually I could probably yeah I should get going but I definitely want to do a low town my arc thoughts on a uh, low town which is the sixth arc in in One Piece and Believe it or not, the final arc of the East Blue Saga. Yeah. 
Um, as of doing the art thoughts tonight on Motown, I will have done art thoughts on every single art in the East Blue Saga. And if you can believe it, that's only 100 chapters of One Piece out of almost 1,000. We're in for a long haul, aren't we, folks? Although, actually, I'm doing the math in my head. We'll actually be able to do the uh, next arc, the next saga in 2020 as well. So look forward to that. Um, like, favorite, share, hit the subscribe button. Follow me on social media platforms. So I'm on YouTube. I'm very humble to this video for all of you guys watching George for today. Hope we all have a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. And remember, if you guys want to talk to channel, I'm going to be here to learn the arrows. We'll be back. Take care and make good choices. See ya.